here we have our Bond Pro actually in, in action. Um, up above, you can plug up to six USB cellular modems. People don't really know this, but you can actually aggregate Ethernet as well with an Ethernet to USB adapter. So if you're at an event, they have Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet drop available to you. You can aggregate it as well in addition to the other modems. This one specifically is a Wi-Fi dongle. So if there's a Wi-Fi network nearby, you can take advantage of it through a USB cellular dongle like you see here. What Bond is actually doing is sending video packets over each one of these modems to different cell phone towers. It hits the cell phone towers and has to make its way to a, 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 a single point. We call this point uh, Sputnik. So what Sputnik is, it's a fixed IP address. In this case, it's 58228247235. You install this on um, Amazon's cloud. You can install this on your own servers at home. It must be a Linux server. That's the main point here. Um, through our Sputnik software, you get a bunch of analytics about what is actually going on here. For example, on port 4, I'm getting a total of 754 kilobits per second. On port 2, 822. Gives me a total bit rate of nearly 2 megabits per second. From here, you, you're going to want to have to decode this with something. Otherwise, you would always be looking at this page. If you follow me, I can show you what our decoders look like. So here is a, our rack decoders. This, this is installed at your station, outputs an SDI signal right into uh, a monitor or your program feed so you can, of course, air it to your customers. Um, there's really no limit to how many decoders you can have with bonds. Uh, it really depends on the bandwidth you have. All you have to do is point our slice decoder to the IP address of bond, which I showed you earlier. It's a TCP pull, and all you have to press is apply, and all of, and then you have your video directly on your monitor. And that's the workflow of bond. Yeah.